Hey everybody, welcome back. So recently a company called Oxalam, who sells automotive accessories, LED lights and things like that, asked me if I'd like to test their LED headlight bulbs. Now I explained to them that the only vehicle I had to test on was my 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So they said, sure, we have a set of bulbs. They will be the, what are they, the 9004 HB1 bulb. So I said, sure, send them out to me. Now, for full disclosure, I have had problems with LED lights in this vehicle in the past, and I have actually had the Oxalam bulbs in already once and did have problems with them. Let's take a look at them first, then I'll explain to you what went on, and we'll try them again. Get a nice pair of white gloves with it if you don't want to touch them. You get an instruction manual. You get the bulbs themselves, which have a nice neoprene, neoprene or silicone rubber ring. Not sure what they're made of, but it's nice and soft. And you'll note that these bulbs are high and low beams. Now, the low beam is usually the LED cob that's further toward the front, and there's ones on either side. So these go in in this position, exactly how I'm showing it to you, and that's how they will work the best. I know... I've tried them in multiple different ways in the past, and this is always the way they work the best. The old Halogens, they had a locking tab that you, they would only fit in one way. These LED bulbs will not have a locking tab. I've never seen ones yet that do. Anyway, let me explain to you what happened when I first put them in. It's the same thing that happens to a lot of people running LED headlights on older vehicles. And my experience on the Jeep Grand Cherokee is when this problem arises, I will either not get high beams, not get low beams, can't switch between them, or they will just switch randomly. With the Oxalam, I was only getting high beams and they would not switch to low. So I contacted them and I told them the issues I was having and they said, you probably need decoders. And they were kind enough to send me a set of decoders to try. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna get these put in with the decoders and we're going to see if that fixes the problem and they work properly. So you'll note the decoders got a little black box, got a nice aluminum housing. One end plugs into the bulb and the other end plugs into the wiring harness. So these just go in line. So let's go out and take a look and see what we got with the Grand Cherokee and let's get them in and let's give it a test. So this is the 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm gonna be putting these bulbs in. One bulb goes back in here in front of this battery box and you notice i broke the tab off of the electrical connector that's how many times i've had the the bulbs in and out of this thing i don't know if you can see it but i also have a 3d printed headlight locking ring because i broke those too i've had them in and out so many times and let's face it this stuff is all old and brittle plastic so that's how it goes this one can be gotten in and out without doing anything else the one on this side you have to pull the battery and I already have the battery out so that I can show you how to do this. Once you pull the battery out, this is actually the easier one to do because you have lots of space. So first thing you do, you turn the locking ring and I have marked the top of the locking ring so I can get it back on without a battle. You turn the locking ring, the whole thing slides out and then you can just pop the bulb in the locking ring off of the connector and hopefully the plastic won't break. Now I'm gonna get that locking ring off of the bulb if I can do this with one hand, there we go. And we're going to get the old bulb out of the way. We're going to get one of the new Oxalam bulbs. And I'm probably going to need both hands to do this since the Oxalam bulb does not lock in place. Now, note which one of these cobs is more toward the front. That one wants to go up. So it's going to go in in this orientation right here with that one cob that is further toward the tip facing or being the one at the top. So that's how these are gonna go. I'm gonna have to set this down because it does take two hands to do this. See if I can just get the camera to stay right there. So once you have this in place, and you can turn these once they're in. When I 3D printed these rings, I made them so things were a little bit less tight and I'd be less likely to break things and less likely to have to get upset with things. So once that's in, you turn the locking ring till it stops and then you rotate this and I might've made those rings a little bit too, loo too loose, but nonetheless, it's gonna work for us here today. And now we're gonna put our inline 
our inline decoder in. We're gonna plug this end into the bulb like that. This end goes into the original wiring harness like that. And we're just gonna tuck this out of the way. So there's one side done. I'm not gonna show you the other side. I'm just gonna get it together and then we will test them out. Okay, both bulbs and the decoders are in. These are the halogens that came out. I have the decoders. I don't know if you can even see it down there. I have the decoder in there tucked away. Batteries back in over here and the decoder in this side is also tucked away nicely. So all we have to do is see if they work. I've noticed one thing, LED headlights are very, very dim at you know 12 12.2 volts they really need the full power of the alternator to be bright you see that you see how much brighter they got can you see the reflection in the window there well look at it with the key off and now look at it with the key on with the engine running now do we have high and low beam the high beam indicator is right there i'm going to switch it off and on so the decoders work because before that didn't work all right so that is both headlights lit and high and low beam so all we have to do now is wait for dark and go out and test it okay so now that we have the oxalam led headlights in it's fully dark out and they're now functioning properly thanks to the decoders let's see what they look like wow that's pretty bright and that is low beam you can see there is no low beam indicator i'm sorry i had so much junk on my dash you can't see the low high beam indicator but there it is let's give it a go and see what we, wow they are pretty bright i got a pretty pretty dark night tonight let's see um and the driving lights are on i don't know if you can see those those are yellow at the right at the bottom I'm gonna switch those off, there we go. Now we have just the headlights. And they seem like they're aimed pretty good, not 100% perfect, but more than good enough for this. We got a dark street around the corner, so we'll try them there. All right, there are no lights on this street at all, no street lights. Of course, I've got cars coming at me. Hopefully, um, We'll go by here I'm gonna slow down so he can go by and we might be able to get a feel for the high beams all right let's try the high beams now they really reach out there pretty well and off to the sides let's turn the headlights completely off and see what the difference is yeah there you go that's um definitely dark So this is the alley behind my house. That light way up ahead, if you can see it, that's my back light. So I'm gonna turn the headlights off. That's what it looks like with no headlights. Here's low beams, here's high beams. Those highs, they're almost a little too high, aren't they? I could probably adjust it down. This, this is of course a, um, highs and lows adjust together well, I don't know that's pretty good I think they could I think they could be a little lower and then the high beams would be perfect but they are definitely bright I like those a lot. That's on my shed there. Alley turns to the right here. There's the white CJ7. Yeah, they um they're 
definitely bright. <laughs> There's another good view of them, that wall in front of us. Anyway, those are the Oxalam headlights. I want to thank Oxalam for sending these out for us to check out and you guys for watching my videos there'll be affiliate links below and i'll catch you all in the next one bye for now